Rust is a systems programming language just like C and C++. Rust has the higher efficiency than C++ in some conditions and is same speed as the C++. And unlike C++ C and C++, Rust has some safety concepts. Rust has number of features that help prevent bugs such as ownership and borrowing which prevent uh, dangling pointers. Rust also deals with the buffer overflows and memory leaks uh, and also uh, vulnerabilities uh, like use after free. So whenever the scope ends, Rust will drop the values. And for the buffer overflows, Rust will panic whenever there is a buffer overflow. So Rust panic is not an error, but it's a safe way of exiting the program. Rust will unwind the stack and safely exits the program. And Rust has the concurrency. Rust has strong support for concurrent programming. And Rust is higher performance. And Rust can also be used for uh, web development. Yes, uh, Rust have some modules like Rocket. So you can build a web server out of Rust. Even in those modules, they are somewhat safer than Python Flask. So they have some security mechanisms to uh, prevent uh, excesses and other attacks. Now with that being said, let's take a look at what we are going to learn in this course. First we will be starting with the basics and we will move on to the rest uh, advanced concepts like structures and pointers. And then we will be enumerating the active directory with the LDAP module. Then we will be seeing how to execute the OS commands using Rust. Then we will be building a reverse shell in Rust. Then we move on to introduction to Windows API. We will see how to uh, code this message box and other uh, structures as well. Then we will be seeing the shell code injection and DLL injection techniques. These are the classic shell code and classic DLL injections. And then we will be see seeing the na Windows named pipes. So these are useful for sending messages between the processes which is interfaces communication. And then we will be seeing the DR proxying technique. Then we will be writing our own refractive loader. So here we will be uh, studying about the PE file format and then we will be loading, uh, we will be parsing each and every header and we will be writing our loader and writing our own refractive order will be very helpful for some process injections like process hollowing and we will also be seeing process doppelganging and then we will be patching the IMC uh, we will be patching the IMC scan buffer function in the IMC.dll and then we will be lo looking at the API hashing technique where we will be hiding our uh, function names so we will be uh, hiding our API function names. Then we will be seeing API hooking. Uh, we will be uh, hooking into the uh, Windows functions and we will inspect the parameters and we change the functionality according to the parameters. And then we will be hooking uh, import address table in the remote process. So this concept helps us to hide any process from the task manager. So we will be uh, hooking anti query system information function and this task manager uses that function every second to retrieve all the uh, live process on the system so we'll be hooking that function and changing uh, the linker list to the next process so that our process will be hidden and we'll be seeing ntfs transactions this is not uh, the full course and this course gets updated weekly and monthly and another cool thing about this course is you will get the code snippet along with the video. So you don't need to search on online for any code. And also I will be putting a link to my GitHub repository. So you will have the code in the video uh, description as well. Uh, so that's it. That's all for the curriculum and more and more videos will be added weekly and monthly. So rust is uh, so good for any uh, system level development in c sharp the api hooking if you want to hook any function it is uh, 
so much nightmare but in rush it is very easy so c sharp has some limitations but rust does not have so that's why rust can be the good for any offensive tool development not only for a uh, malware development or red teaming you can implement in other cyber security domains as well you can create a network scanners and network sniffing tools etc so you can implement this rust in your desired cyber security domain as well so that's all for the introduction about this offensive rust course i hope you enjoy this course